All right, you guys. I got to show you something really cool. So I've been experimenting. I wanted to make kind of a walk around throttle for DC. Now, if you've ever seen these before, these old cab controls, basically it's a walk around throttle, power in, power to track. Okay. And I have the, the mate for it right here is the old throttle pack. So what I did was I made this. Oh, look at that. Basically, I got a motor controller, mounted it in a box. Uh oh, there's my alligator clip. Hold on, hold on. Malfunction. I've just got this clipped on here with alligator clips right at the moment. All right, back in business. So, what I did was I took this box, some kind of all weather outdoor electrical box. I wanted it to be roughly palm size. So as you can see, that's how big it is in my hand. And I have it connected to the throttle pack. If you forgot how to do that on the back of these, one of them just says plain old 12 volts. Variable is for the track, for the knob on the pack. The middle one is AC, and then I've got it hooked up to the constant output DC. And what that was for was to hook to one of these, and you'd have an extra throttle. You basically you have two throttle, and you could like make an extension cord for it. So that's what I've done. So I got two alligator clips to the track, and I've got my little control box. So I put a three-position switch on it. Middle is off, and switch the direction. This controller actually came with an emergency stop switch, which is kind of cool. So let's check it out. So it has a digital control on it. Let's get this thing here so you can see me operate it. Okay, now I have a locomotive on the track. There, how's that? Can we see that? All right. All right, so I'm going to take my thing here and set my direction with my little toggle switch down here. Center off. Just because I had a three-position switch, you don't have to do that. It could be one or the other. But it's kind of cool having an off switch. And then I turn this, if I turn this knob, look at that. See that? Well, let's go the other way. Back up. Okay, watch this. So I'm giving it, it's got a percent, a 23%. Away we go with our Athern Blue Box. Check this out. Press the green button. Bam. Off. Emergency stop. Press it again. We're on. And then direction control. And then come on back. Pretty sweet. All I did was I put a little switch block on the bottom here. I'll make some long cords for it. And then I'm going to stick a piece of Velcro on the back of it. I'll stick a piece of Velcro on the back so that if you use card system with aprons, where you put stick cards in your aprons, you'll be able to stick this thing. You'll be able to stick this on your side. I, I figured right down here on my pants and with some velcro and then I can walk around with it a little bit however long I make these cords. And then I got another one that I can make which is even smaller and but so far that's pretty cool. So this whole setup cost me I think 16 bucks. 16 bucks and then I had to wire it myself. And that was it. Sweet.